The storm that brought us all that wind has exited the state. Some clouds right on its tail, though, in advance of our next storm. It did bring a little snow, too, as far as uh, in addition to those gusty conditions. Not too bad. We picked up about five in Chama and Cuba, a little less in Los Alamos, Red River doing a, a decent amount of snow, Eagle Nest and Sandia Park, too. Wind still going. It is calming down. All of our advisories and warnings have been canceled. Sustained winds of 18 miles per hour in Las Vegas, 12 in Grants and Gallup, 10 in Roswell. Right here in the Duke City, 16 mile per hour winds. Not too bad if you're having a uh, late evening or an evening uh, dinner or a stroll out there. Shouldn't be a problem for you. But as we get into Monday, it's going to be fairly calm, partly cloudy skies. We'll have breezy conditions on the eastern side of the state. But late Monday, our next system comes right on the heels of our last one. And this one's going to bring uh, snow and rain, mainly rain for most locations, mountain snow uh, that'll spread throughout the state on Tuesday. Areas we're going to watch for will be the east slopes of the Sangre de Cristos, the east mountains. Cold front's going to help give us that push, that upslope flow that we need to crank out some snow. So those will be the favorite areas. This isn't going to be a huge storm, but uh, hopefully getting some snow out of it. But it's going to be fast moving. It'll clear out of here by Wednesday. Take a look at our storm track. We see those showers starting to develop Monday evening as we get the clock rolling. They're spreading throughout. This is 6 a.m., so the northern mountains as we start uh, the, the morning on Tuesday, seeing some snow showers. And then you can see rain showers further south where we do have warmer temperatures throughout the day, seeing them spread even more so. You can see the favored areas here in the east slopes and then also down by the Sacramentos. And then as we continue throughout the evening, 5 p.m., we're starting to see uh, that storm system push to the east and more rain uh, in those lower valley locations where we really don't have the benefit of the cooler air or the mountains to help us really wring out the snow. Current temperatures not too bad. Let's do the numbers. Southern Colorado, cloudy for tomorrow, snow late, and then continuing out th the throughout the day in Tuesday, into Tuesday, excuse me. A few inches possible in places like Durango. Then sunshine and warmer temperatures after that. Another shot for snow toward the end of the week. In the four corners, mostly cloudy, rain and snow late as well. And then we'll continue through uh, Monday night into Tuesday and then clearing by Wednesday with sunshine. And then temperatures starting to creep up as well with uh, intermittent clouds here and there. For southwest New Mexico, partly cloudy here too. Rain and snow late. Looks to be mainly a rain event for areas like Silver City and Deming, but could get some snow in the higher terrain or even some overnight snow if that moisture is available once temperatures drop Tuesday into Wednesday. But uh, for Thursday and Friday and Saturday, it's looking very nice. Southeast New Mexico, partly cloudy and breezy. Mostly rain for Roswell on Tuesday. Maybe some snow showers trying to squeak in there Tuesday night into Wednesday, but uh, it's not going to last long if we do get any snow because temperatures are going to be way too warm during the day. And then sunshine for the rest of the week. Northeast New Mexico, partly cloudy and breezy for tomorrow. A lot less wind than we had today, which is great. 62 in Tucumcari, 50 in Las Vegas. We'll look for snow showers Tuesday into Wednesday for the Las Vegas area, and then sunshine after that, and then another storm pulls in for the end of the week. In the northern mountains, partly cloudy, snow here late as well, but the best chance for snow is going to be Tuesday into Wednesday, so keep that in mind for your travel plans. And then for Thursday, sunshine and warmer temperatures. In the east mountains, not as much wind for tomorrow. But breezy still, 49 in Moriarty, 52 in Tierras. And in the Duke City, we're not looking at a bad day at all. 53, partly cloudy, 51 in Rio Rancho, 56 in Berlin. As for us, we're not looking at amazing chances for rain. And that's what it'll most likely come down is, is rain. And then maybe some snow if the moisture's there Tuesday night into Wednesday. But we have a kind of a small window to get any snow and we're not looking for big accumulation if we do see anything. Would be nice to see something. Come on, a little bit of snow. Yeah, thank you, Ian. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at tonight's primetime lineup here on KRQE. 60 Minutes is coming up next.